Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and honestly, it's because I just, I've been learning things about myself. I've been going through a lot. One of the things that I've learned is that I internalize a lot of my emotions because for one, I'm still pretty confused about how I feel about them. So I don't want to confuse others. Um, and I may not know how to effectively describe how I feel to others for them to understand me. So I internalize a lot of my emotions. And as a Sagittarius, um, I move through my emotions and my emotions control a lot of what I do, how I respond to things. And yeah, which cannot be healthy all the time because your emotions are just how you're feeling right now, but it might not be, you know, a part of your values or your morals or anything like that. So that's where confusion can come in. And a lot of times when I internalize my emotions, that makes me hinder myself from feeling them and hinder myself from being able to go through what I'm supposed to in that moment, I guess. So I become quiet and I'm already an introverted person. So I don't really like to talk to people too much. I don't feel comfortable talking to people, should I say. Um, I also have social anxiety. So a lot of times I project how I'm feeling about myself onto others and I feel like they're feeling that way about me so I hide I don't really interact with many people um I've, I'm not just learning this but a lot of times I move through life within fear or behind fear and I guess it's because my anxiety from what has happened to me before I don't want things to repeat themselves. Um, I don't want to be the reason that something happens that I don't want to happen. So my anxiety causes me to do a lot of things. And I don't know, I'm just, it's becoming a revolving cycle. And it's like the older I'm getting, I'm 22 now, I just turned 22 in November. But the older I'm getting, the more that I want to learn about myself, I want to be self-aware and I want to create the person that I know I am inside. I haven't been that person because for one, my social anxiety, I've been holding back who I really am. And I've been scared to show who I really am, which I don't know why I can't. It's a mind thing, a mental thing. And it's hard to work on. It's really hard to change your mental, but I've done it before. Um, back in, I think it was December 2018 until like March of 2019. I was so consistent with all the things that I want to do to better myself as a woman. I was reading books on the daily. I was working hard on my job. I had great grades in school. Um, I was excelling in school. I had so many interviews for certain positions in my major. I was in social work and I had to do an interview to get in the um, professional part of social work. That was my first one. I had to do an interview to get my internship. I had to write an autobiography for both of those. I had to fill out applications. I had to do a lot. I really had to apply myself. And this was during a time that I was just learning that the traumas that I've been through still affect me and they still make me feel some type of way. So it was a hard time, but somehow I did it. I also during that time, if you don't know, I'm going to say it now, I smoke weed from time to time. And during that time, I didn't smoke at all. I was fully aware of how I was feeling. I was fully in the moment. I wasn't trying to mask 
my emotions. I wasn't trying to mask how I was feeling about anything. I was just, I was completely and unapologetically being myself. And it felt amazing. That was probably the most happy that I've ever been. I was also during that time consistent with eating healthy. I wasn't eating any junk food. I wasn't having any snacks. If I had snacks, it would be like fruits and nuts. I was eating so good. I was going by my calories. I was only eating 1,200 calories at the most today. And I would try, my goal was only to eat about 900 to 1,000 a day. So I, you know, even though that wasn't the most healthy way to lose weight, I did it. And I was very determined. I was very persistent with what I wanted and how I knew things work. I see that it would work a certain way, so I was persistent with it. I was consistent with it as well. And that was until May. Well, you know, I was already starting to fall off a little bit between March and May, but May 29th, 2019, my grandma passed away. And if you know me or if you don't know me, my grandma was like my second mother. Um, she raised us completely. She didn't allow us to go to daycare. She she fed us out of her hand. Like any meal she had, me and my cousins were always on the floor in front of her and she would feed us as well. Everything she had, she shared. Even if she didn't have much of it, she was gonna share with us. And she was just such, I don't wanna get much, but she was such a, a giving and understanding person. She would listen. She had such a huge heart. And I always wanted to be like her. She was my comfort zone. And her house was my comfort zone. Growing up, a lot of times, my home wasn't stable. But grandma's house was always stable. My grandma was always stable. She was always there for me. And so with her being gone now, I'm having to learn how to really stand on my own and be completely independent. I didn't think I was gonna be crying in this video, but I'm just gonna let my emotions out because I just told you I wasn't what I've I was working on what I'm working on now, but she was completely my comfort zone. If I was ever not happy, I could just be around her. Like a lot of people, they don't just sit around their grandparents, but me, I didn't mind. I would be in my grandma's house all day. I didn't care. So yeah, I loved it. I, I just sit there and spend time with her because her presence, her energy was just everything. It's another thing with me. I pick up on energy. I'm not only an empath, 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 however I'm supposed to say that, but I feel other people's energy. Some people in life, they think things before they feel them, but me, on the other hand, I feel things before I think them through. That goes into how my life goes off of my emotions a lot. And, you know, it can be helpful to me with learning how people are and knowing who to be around and not to be around in order for me to have a good day and be happy. But at the same time, it can hinder me because I let my emotions overtake completely how I feel. And sometimes I can regret that. I, I hate to use the word regret, but just for lack of better terms. I've just been working on being more confident um, one, I cut my hair because I wanted to change in my life. Um, I've had long hair my whole life. So, yeah, I cut my hair. So, let me just show y'all how healthy it is. It's, I just love it. It's beautiful. My curls are so much better. Today is actually my first time ever wearing it. Like, wearing the side part. Usually, I wear the middle part. But, I was like, let me just try this. But yeah, it's so bouncy and just healthy. I just love it. 
and I just feel as soon as I cut it off I just felt so free um yeah I love it so that's something that changed with me um I'm learning to listen to myself more I've always been the type to I have a strong intuition but I question it a lot because I just question a lot of things in life I don't want to just think one thing and run with it um I like to see every perspective and see every way that it can possibly be viewed so I make the right choice you know but yeah those are some things that I've recently been working on you know not projecting my feelings and emotions onto others um not taking taking things personal um a lot of times especially in relationships when a person does something i think that it has something to do with me and so yeah I'm gonna kind of look and this is my little notebook that I write in when I listen to podcasts or when I watch TED Talks on YouTube or when I'm just wanting to write down how I'm feeling. It really helps for me to journal. I wrote down some things that I want to be my core values as a woman. And I have one, two, three, seven things that I want to have as a value as a woman myself. First is love. And I learned love the most from my mom and my grandma. Um, the good and the bad. My grandma especially really showed me how to love people unconditionally. She was a good representation of really accepting people for who they are and really just worrying about yourself. Because she always remembered that one day we're gonna go. We're not gonna be on this earth. She reminded me that so much. And I really don't understand. Because she drilled that into us so much, I I don't understand how it's so hard for me to accept her death. Because she will always tell us, you know, grandma gonna be gone one day. And I don't know, her death happened so suddenly. Um, she had a massive heart of a massive heart attack when she was at the doctor's office one day, just going in for a checkup. And she had recently been, you know, doing a lot of exercise. You know, she, my grandma had the best willpower, the best, and she made me want to do better. She was actually a big motivation to me to during that time when I was real consistent, she was a huge motivation to me. And so, yeah, love is my first thing that I want to be, my, or is the first thing that is my core value. Um, the second is happiness because that's super important to me. I've never understood how people can pick money over happiness. Um, just for example, just put it out there. I recently dropped out of school. Um, I was in my, I was about to go into my last semester. This would have been my last semester right now, but I decided to drop out and not continue because I was not happy. And I hated everything about school. My least favorite part about school was walking to class. They gave me the most anxiety because I have social anxiety, you know? Um, I just hated walking in front of people and you know i haven't been confident in the past years so i that was just horrible for me but the times in school, i can't say that i just completely hated all my four years in school the times that i enjoyed the most was when i was just taking most social work classes and when we got to do um little mini internships at different organizations when we got to go to the alternative school and be mentors to mentors and advocates to kids there and just learn how to deal with teenagers because um when you get into social work you have to deal with all ages not just kids but teenagers adults and um 
elders, even their community. Um, that's the whole thing about social work. You don't just deal with your client. You deal with everything around them. You deal with their family, their community, their friends, all of that, because all of that goes into how a person is and who they are as a person. So yeah, um, social work helped me to broaden my mind to understanding people and why they are that the way they are and knowing that I don't have to understand everything and vice versa. People don't have to understand everything about me. It's not for them to understand. It's, I choose my happiness as a Sagittarius. That's a Sagittarius thing. I'm gonna choose my happiness over my money any day. Service is another one of my core values. I would like to be a service to others. Um, I'm the most happy when I can make others happy and when I can help them do something that they may not be able to do on their own or even if they are able to do on their own. Just the fact that I can help you and be, you know, contribute to what you have going on that makes me happy. Being involved makes me happy. Um, my fourth core value is positivity. I've always felt like I've been able to find the positive and things negative. Um, I've learned over time that it's really hard for me to do that personally. Um, when it comes to other people, I can help them be positive. I can completely see the positive in it. But when I'm going through it myself, it takes me longer to find the positive in a situation. And you know, that just comes with self-doubt, um, want a reassurance, um, and questioning everything because I have no trust. You know, my trust is fucked up. My fifth core value that I have is my health because, you know, it started with just me wanting to look better and be confident and not being fat, as I call myself, but um, it's more than that. I want my insides to be healthy because health is wealth for one in many ways, as we see through influencers, as I want to be one day, I want to show people that it's important to be healthy because the place that we live, the United States of America, it makes it hard. It makes it hard for us to eat healthy. Everything that's unhealthy is people's favorite food because one is cheap, two is super accessible, and you have many options. Whereas the healthy foods like Subway, Hobby peas, it can be healthy in a way. Um, nukes can be healthy in a way. McAllister's, those places like that around here are very expensive. And minimum wage is $7.25. And it's hard to get hours because we're probably overpopulated. A lot of people are in and out of jobs. They want hours just like we all do. Um, this world is just really fucked up as a whole, honestly. And it's really hard to be great. It's really hard to take care of yourself and just be a healthy person. It's really hard, but it's also really important to me. So it's not impossible, you know? I'm gonna do what I have to do to be who I wanna be. Period. Hey, okay, number six core value is wealth because some people might say money can't bring you happiness, but you are definitely happier when you can afford the things that you need and want. So yeah, I wanna be wealthy. I want my family to be wealthy, the family that I make to be wealthy. And I want to help others. I want to one day be able to make a dog. I wanna do something with dogs, either make a dog pound that does no killing, or I want to have a grooming, facility or either like a dog hotel but i just love dogs that make me happy i have two i have coco and sasha but they don't live with me but they are two other people in my life that have shown me how to love people unconditionally because no matter what i do first of all i'm not an animal i don't do animal cruelty i don't do anything with my dogs but you know you have to discipline them like they're children so when they do something wrong yeah, give them a little tap tap on their booty, you know? So when you do things like that, and then the next minute your dog still remembers that she loves me and I love her. And so they give you affection 
and love and it just makes me happy i want to help dogs because america doesn't give a damn about dogs at all we don't even have rules that protect them we don't even have rules that protect service animals or animals that are actually in service like police dogs they don't have laws that help them or protect them it's a psychological fact scientific fact as well that people that abuse animals will are most likely to abuse people and so yeah we we need to protect them they are a little piece of peace in our earth and this earth is crazy and fucked up so why would you not protect them and my last core value is respect not only respect for other people my elders I want to have respect for myself. I have respect for myself. And I will elevate the respect for myself because when you don't have respect for yourself, others won't have respect for you. And the way that you treat yourself displays how you want other people to treat you. It shows you or it shows people how you're going to be treated, how what you what you will and won't tolerate. So yeah, those are things that I'm working on. Those are things that are important to me. And I'm just trying to become a better woman because I don't want to live my life waddled up in my emotions or waddled up in my head, living in my head instead of actually living in reality and doing the things that I keep saying I want to do and thinking I want to do, but I'm not putting action to them. So there's a big difference between thinking things that you want to do and actually acting out those things that you want to do so yeah um that's just like this youtube thing it's a lot of days where i think about video ideas and stuff but i don't actually sit down and record them but there's other days where it's super fucking hard to make a video because for example the other day i tried to record a video um, a story time because it's kind of been on my heart to share a certain story with y'all and it was hard for me because I was sitting here thinking about how it may affect the other people that are involved um, what they're going to feel about it what they're going to think about it and how I'm going to make them feel and what I've realized is that I have no control over how somebody else is going to feel you know at the end of the day it's my story and me sharing it is only going to help others because that's how we help us that's how we get information out that's how people learn things by listening to other people's stories and listening to what they've been through so they can have another perspective on it um, i just want to be a help to others i want to showcase my life not as perfect because it's not um i want to showcase it as this is how I'm directing myself through this crazy ass life because life is crazy. Nobody really gives us the formula how to live when you really just sit and think of it. We're humans and we were kind of just placed on this earth and just had to adapt to this environment. Like, it's weird. And so, while we're being here, I feel like it's important for me to learn how to be happy and how to navigate life in a certain way that will give me the things that I want. I'm growing. I'm becoming the woman that I've been wanting to be. So, yeah. That's currently what I'm going through. Um, I wanted to open up to y'all and just have a, a real video with y'all. I just realized I should have put my fucking lamp on because that makes my lighting better that kind of annoys me because that makes me want to redo this whole video but i'm not i feel like i was able to explain things to a way in a way so that y'all can understand it so um i'm actually about to go to the gym and i appreciate y'all for watching my video i hope that y'all say stay subscribed and understand that the reasons that I haven't been consistent are personal and I'm working on it. I'm working on becoming a better person, a better woman, a better YouTuber, a better content creator. And yeah, and I just hope that you stick through with me 
and stay loyal to me because I have a lot up my sleeve and if I would just unapolog unapologetically be me, I feel like y'all would love me. And even if y'all don't, I would love me. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of this faith. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope y'all have a blessed Sunday.